Hi everyone, in this video we are going to work with this given information to find the cosine of theta. Theta is being described by two pieces of information. The one piece of information we are given is that tangent of theta is equal to the negative ratio of 15 over 8 and we know that theta can be found in between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. So what does that do for us? Couple things. For starters, I know we're concentrating on quadrant two, and I know that since tangent is the ratio of 15 over eight, and we'll deal with that negative in a moment, and I know tangent from my days in geometry, right? Toa as opposite over adjacent, right? That I can label two out of the three sides in my right triangle, and then I can find the third side because right triangles, we can find all three sides if we're, the third side if we're given two using Pythagorean theorem, or if you're even more clever, Pythagorean triples. So how can we get this one going? Here we have quadrant two, because that's what we're looking at. We're looking between 90 and 180 degrees. I'm going to pick a random point in there. It really doesn't matter. And I'm going to connect it to the origin. And then I'm also going to connect it to the closest x-axis. And that right there makes my reference triangle. It's not necessarily going to be to scale, but it's good enough. Your reference angle will always be found in between the hypotenuse and the closest x-axis. If you draw right over here at this angle where your reference angle is, you should be able to see an A. There is an A here for angle, or maybe it's an A for adjacent. You could also take the A and be like, boop, open it up and make it into an H. So the other side we're touching right over here is the hypotenuse. That only leaves this side over here for opposite. The hypotenuse is always positive. The adjacent in this case will be negative because we're going to the left and the opposite is positive because we're going up. Okay, well now what? Opposite over adjacent. So the opposite is going to be associated with the measure 15 and adjacent, opposite over adjacent, adjacent is going to correspond to the measure of eight. One of these two numbers is negative, not both of them. If they were both negative, negative, over negative is positive, right? Two negatives are actually at, for opposite and adjacent, really talking about quadrant three. Which one of these two is negative? Well, that would be the eight, because I'm going left eight. So my adjacent is negative eight. My opposite is up or positive 15. Also, I've studied and I know that eight, 15, 17 is a very well-known Pythagorean triple. Now I don't have to do Pythagorean theorem because I am quite clever. So 8, 15, 17, there we have it. Again, the hypotenuse is always positive. Okay, well, I have everything, that's it. All we have to do now is use the beautiful picture we've just made to find the cosine of this theta. Well, cosine of theta, just going back to geometry fundamentals as a ratio with words, so ka toa is adjacent over hypotenuse. We have it all labeled, so the cosine of theta, which we don't even know how big theta is, to be honest, but the cosine of theta adjacent, negative eight, over hypotenuse, 17. I don't have any radicals in my denominator, so I don't need to rationalize, and I also do not need to do any reducing, and that's all there is to it. I hope you feel pretty good about this example. Maybe you kind of were a little rusty and you sort of forgot what it is you needed to do, but I hope you feel good about it now. Anything else that you can contribute, feel free to put in the comment section down below. If you're feeling confident, like you got what you did and you can out of this video, mark it with a thumbs up. And if you are not feeling good and would benefit from watching this again, mark it with a thumbs down so you know if you come across it again, it's worth re-watching. And click through for the next example, and I hope you're feeling a little bit more confident and a little bit smarter at the end of this video. Adios.